Here's another intro from my car. I'm here at a... Somebody's watching me vlog. Here at the Black Walnut Cafe to do some summer studying. believe that summer is not only a time for relaxing and getting a nice tan line and meeting a cute boy. It's about preparing for the next season of your life and I think that's so important. I think they've given you these three months not just to give you a break but to grow yourself. It's a time to work harder. Everything has to be color coordinated in my house. showing everyone what my room is like and how it's probably gonna look when it goes into the school year as you know we're all getting ready for the school year I've started studying and so welcome to my bedroom yes the wall has pink polka dots my bed is a mess okay I fixed it kind of all right so the first thing you see when you walk into my room is my massive bed my bed is so comfortable. I literally love it so much. I do a lot of studying and reading like in my bed as well. Next to my bed is this fluffy stool with all of the books that I'm reading at the moment. I am reading The Book Thief. I read my Bible every single day. I am reading a Christian apologetics book, a faster, smarter, better. I have my two extra notebooks. Oh my three extra notebooks. There is a Tyler Oakley book that I got for free that I decided to give a try. And this book is a dictionary of all the different fashion designers ever. Of course, my writing utensils. Because as I said earlier, I think summer is a time for growth and learning and experimentation. So I'm constantly reading new things and learning new things and researching and finding out who I am and who God wants me to be through books that he's given us. Over here, lots of people would call it kind of a junk corner, I guess, but I have stuff that I'm selling on Poshmark, my bag that I keep kind of packed all the time and I bring everywhere, and my charger when I roll out of bed in the morning and find my phone on the ground. So on the opposite side of my bed, I have a big vanity. I decorated with some nice seasonal flowers, a little gold thing with a necklace, and makeup brushes. In the drawer on the right side, I keep all of my makeup right here and my beauty products and hairbrushes and hairspray and everything a girl might need to get ready in the morning. On the left side, I keep my jewelry, my hair bows, my sunglasses, my hair ties, and my collection of phone cases all organized. I know this is gonna sound crazy. One of my favorite organization tips is if you've ever been to Lush and you get a bath bomb set, when I bought one, I would take the box apart and take all the little shelves and containers out and put them into my drawers. So if you look in here, you can see that's from Lush that held some kind of bath bombs. And these two things are from Lush, holding all of my jewelry. Oh, and actually underneath all this is another thing from Lush. Now in the middle right drawer, I keep all of my underwear and my socks. Middle left is bras and swimsuits. Uh, miscellaneous and seasonal slash miscellaneous. These drawers really don't have all that much purpose. And right next to my drawer is the lovely laundry basket that is just so nice to look at. My closet is really, really, really detailed, so I think I'm going to do a closet tour video much later on because it would take like literally 30 minutes to explore the realm of my closet. I have my car keys permanently on this little elephant hook and so every time I leave the room I can just grab my car keys and go. Okay, that was my completed bedroom tour of 2018. <sighs> applause, applause, the crowd goes wild. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram right here at Lily Kate Cole. I will see you guys later!
2018, y'all, for real. I know number. I'll just ignore it. Yay, applause. The crowd goes wild. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'm so bad at this.